Hello guys and welcome. If you're planning to repair something like a cell phone, like a cell phone or a smartwatch or anything that would be electronic related, if it's waterproof, it's probably going to have some sealant inside the phone there. So you're going to need a special tool to disassemble. And one of the tools that you're going to need is going to be a heat gun. Today I have decided to make a review of this heat gun. It's maximum. And this is not a normal content for my channel, but I still have decided to make a review about this uh, particular heat gun because I think this is one of the tools that everybody who does repairs on electronics needs to have. And this actually caught my eye because it's one of the best heat guns you can get for like a budget level pricing. I bought this one for $100. This is still expensive because you can get some cheaper ones, but it is a really good one because it has a LCD display, which allows you to see what actual temperature you're using at the moment. And also it allows you to adjust temperature at certain increments unlike other heat guns where you can only adjust it like from low to medium to high this one will actually allow you to adjust temperature in 20 degrees increments so this is really great and you can easily switch between 50 different heat settings so i'm really excited to have a look at it and see what uh, how it actually works and do some repairs with it so and actually you can use it for other purposes but we're not going to be talking about it today and before we start, if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you find this video helpful, interesting, please give it a like and let's get started. So let's first have a look at this box and see what it actually shows us. As I mentioned earlier, it has a 50 heat settings. It also allows you to adjust temperature in 20 Fahrenheit degrees increments so this is really great and it also has a two-stage airflow setting from 8.1 to 13 and a half cfm it also has a led light which we don't really need because usually you don't work in the dark with this heat gun but in case you're working in some place where it's dark you might benefit from having this led light built in and it also includes a few accessories like a scraper blade glass protection nozzle flat nozzle hook nozzle and concentration nozzle so you can use them when you're working to peel off some adhesive from the walls or from anything that you can imagine but we're not going to be using those because this is meant for like industrial or home repair but for the for the purpose of repairing electronics we're only going to need the actual heat gun and that's what we're going to be using it for yeah let's just go ahead and open it up and see how it looks inside find out what's inside there It does come in with the case for carrying it and storing. So this is really great. This is what I like about having tools like this because they do come with a special case that you can store it. And, and this way you're not gonna lose any parts that come with it and also have everything stored. So you can, if you put everything back after you use it, you're always gonna find where it is. And this is great. There we go. So this is our heat gun and as you can see it comes with actually pretty good selection of different tools so here's your heat gun there is a few accessories there is four accessory nozzles and there is a one more accessory on the top half cover and this is a scraper nozzle with the triangle blade this one tool you can use for paint removal and it also comes with the manual and this manual is actually pretty Pretty good it explains you everything that you need to know about this heat gun and how to use it what nozzles to use and when so if you want to read it through and one of the cool thing about this manual is that it does include an exploded view of all the parts that this heat gun consists of I think this is really great you don't get that very often in the cheap tools because you don't you can't get parts i don't know if you can actually get parts for this heat gun if you ever have to repair it but anyway they do show you the exploded view so in case you want to fix it yourself well you might as well try it okay let's go have a look at this gun here as you can see it does feel very good in your hand like it feels a little bit on the plastic side but this is okay because it has to be light if it would be too heavy it would be hard to use on a regular basis so I think this heavy feel to it is not 
a good thin, so it's actually pretty good that it's lightweight. And I think it's only like 1100 grams or a little bit over one kilogram or two pounds. So yeah, this is not, not bad at all. So let's have a look what it has here. As you can see, it has a heat gun pipe here, cover. There is an LCD screen on the very top here and you can adjust plus and minus in 10 degrees Celsius increments. And you can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius as well, which is great. So depending what country you're in, you might like the Celsius more or Fahrenheit. So you can choose either or, which is very convenient. And this is your switch. You can have two settings. It's either the first setting where you get 8.1 CFM and you can use it for more like pipe bending or stuff like that. If you need to do like defrosting or anything else, you can use the second setting, which will give you 13 and a half CFM of airflow. So pretty good. It also has an LED light that you can use in case you work in somewhere where it's pretty dark. And here's your LED switch. So it's not gonna be turned on as soon as you hit this power button you have to actually manually turn it on, which is great because most of the times you're not gonna need that LED light because it's meant to work somewhere where there's enough light. The cable quality is, seems to be really good. It's very thick cable, so I'm sure it can handle 15 amp of power, which, is, which this heat gun is capable of. So yeah, it has a pretty strong, durable cable. And another cool feature about this heat gun is it does have this legs stand. You can just open it up and then you can just stand it like this. And this is going to be really convenient for like pipe bending. If you have a PVC pipe or plastic pipe, you can just hold it here, turn it on and use it. You don't have to actually hold it in your hand and bend it with and hold the pipe with one hand. So it's actually really convenient that they have included this little legs for little stand here. So I do like it. It's very smart. And let's go have a look what else it comes with it. So there is also a nozzle. This is like your directional nozzle. It's going to be a con it's called a concentration nozzle. So if you put this nozzle on, as you can see, it's going to concentrate the heat in one spot. So it will get really hot in this spot. This is probably going to be a good idea if you need to just pinpoint some spot where you want to get the most heat. There is also another flat concentration nozzle. It's going to be creating like a line of heat. There and there is a uh, one like this, another like a blade nozzle. They also have this hook nozzle they call and this one will actually dissipate the heat so it's gonna be really good when you're working with glass because you don't wanna get directional heat on glass so you can just dissipate it and then it's gonna be warming up evenly. And the last tool that we got here is gonna be this scraper blade. It's actually pretty cool. This is for like paint stripping and you can just use this like a screwdriver. Pretty convenient, but we're definitely not gonna need this here. Uh, what I'm gonna be using this tool for is actually taking apart smartphones, the one that has adhesive or like smart watches. This is it for the case. You can always store the manual where it's supposed to be in case you need to read it back again. And and this way you're not gonna lose it and it always will be there when you need this. I, I do like to keep my stuff all organized. This way I know where it is when I need it. So yeah, this is it for this review. I hope you guys find it helpful. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You're gonna see a lot more helpful, interesting content like this on my channel. If you have any comments, questions, drop them in the comment section below. I'll always try to read them through and answer your questions. I'm sure we're gonna be using this tool very soon. And actually I have something lined up to get a cell phone repaired. So stay tuned for my channel and you'll see more helpful, interesting videos. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thank you guys for your support and for watching my videos. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.